This episode is sponsored by Clean My Mac X. What's up guys? Salut, this is Alex. This box is coming straight from Japan. To give you a bit of context, this box has been forgotten in the move from my previous studio to this studio. I ordered it I don't know, six months ago maybe, but I never got the chance to open it. In general, I'm a sucker for quality kitchen tools, okay? And I was probably browsing through obscure Japanese websites and I saw things, I ordered them compulsively, but then I couldn't remember exactly what I ordered. It's almost like I made a gift to myself from the past. So without further ado, I suggest we open it. Christmas before Christmas. What is that? <laughs> I, I do not remember what's in there. Ah oui! Now I remember. Let me open this up. This is called a Tawashi brush. It's a scrubber that is made to remove the grease and the grime from pots and pans mainly. It's hard enough to clean your pan thoroughly, but since these are natural fibers, it shouldn't damage the seasoning of your wok or your pans. So I bought these to replace the current brush that I use to do the dishes. The quality on this one is subpar. Look at this. How am I supposed to do the dishes efficiently with a, with a brush like this? But then I saw this one. Am I really looking for the next dishwashing session? I might be. The action could be as simple as dishwashing, but if I'm using the right tool, it just motivates me. It's exactly like cooking. When you cook, you need to use the right ingredient. You should be using the right tool as well. Right, the, uh, the second item is this silicone seamless spatula. Oh, that's heavy, very hefty. My favorite spatula, the one that I was using so far, is this one. It's also seamless, which is very cool, not to get any bacteria within the cracks and crannies of the tool, but the flex may be a little too flimsy. It's just missing a little something. Well, this one is very heavy, which gives a nice sensation to it. And then you've got a strong flex, and I'm thinking that the very end is also thinner which would be easier to pass underneath, maybe while making omelette, for example. Next item. I believe there is one item in the kitchen, one tool that is neglected. That tool is... Okay, let's talk about today's sponsor, Clean My Mac. X. I consider myself to be very creative in the kitchen. Very, very creative, but also a little messy. Let me show you what I mean. See? See all this? And this is just a Monday, okay? Now, on my Mac, the situation is a little similar. I also tend to accumulate clutter in here. However, in this situation, I can count on the help of Clean My Mac X. Clean My Mac X is the only Mac app that can help you control and maintain your computer. It keeps it clean in a fast and simple way. The smart scan feature does cleanup, malware removal, and speed up all in one combo. It takes about two minutes to polish up even a dead slow Mac. Space Lens allows you to see what files are taking most of the space. And also, why are there 10 copies of that file? And the protection modules just work perfectly. With malware removal powered by Moonlock Engine, you can scan your MacBook for cryptocurrency miners viruses, adware, and remove them instantly. Just like in the kitchen, the clutter on my devices is a symbol of my productivity and creative spirit. When the time comes to declutter, Clean My Mac X comes at hand. Clean My Mac X will handle all the mess after your creative process. 
try Clean My Mac X with a 7 day free trial. Use my code of 20% off. Thank you Clean My Mac X for sponsoring this video. I believe there is one item in the kitchen, one tool that is neglected. That tool is scissors. I've seen a documentary about Korean cuisine. These guys use scissors a lot for many different tasks in the kitchen. I don't use scissors that much, apart from opening packages, maybe for poultry a bit. And I thought, well, maybe it's because my scissors sucks. If they were to be sharp, maybe I would use them more. Let's just open that box. Oh, well, oh, that's a class. The snap on this scissor is pretty satisfying. I can feel that this is touching just right. I've just got the right resistance. A pair of scissors is very different from a knife. The knife slices where here there's a shearing motion. The attachment in the center of a scissor is critical because if it's not tight enough, you will have that nice contact in between the blades. Everything can disassemble on this, even like the handles. The fact that you can split them apart is amazing when you want to wash them, of course, but it's also great if you want to sharpen them. They've got a flat surface over here, which is pretty smart, because then you can apply more power on this. I just want to compare these new scissors to the one that I use the most. Now, these ones are by no means a bad pair of scissors. The snap is good, they are sharp, they are easy to clean, they cut well. I mean, these are good too, but they sound and they feel a little less quality than these. Even the sound is better on this one. <laughs> this one sounds a little plasticky, a little hollow. <laughs> okay, stop. Next item. Now this one, it's giving away a bit its purpose pretty rapidly. It looks amazing. Oh, it's a Tojiro knife from the DP series. So this specific type of knife is called a Gyuto. <laughs> it's just Japanese people making better Western knife than Western people. It's a Western style bevel when it comes to the blade, meaning that the blade is symmetrical when you look at it. They are less sharp than their Japanese cousin, which have an asymmetrical bevel, but they are easier to sharpen. So this is a stainless steel knife. I found stainless steel knives to be way more convenient than carbon steel. The only downside is that they always cut with less efficiency than any carbon steel knife. But this is not any stainless steel. This is Vigitel, which is the best steel you can get for stainless steel knives. VG10 is an alloy. So this one will be resistant to rust, but also it will cut almost as sharply, as efficiently, as a carbon steel knife. Oh la la, the edge is like shiny AF. It's like a mirror finish. Okay, let's see how sharp this one is straight out of the box. If you have a very sharp knife, it's gonna be more, more quiet. Quiet, quiet. <laughs> Scary sharp. It's definitely not a knife for beginners. You know that Japanese people are into sharpness when you see the absence of a bolster over here. Okay, on Western knives, let me show you one. This bolster right here, it's giving the knife some structure, which is good, but it's preventing you from sharpening it properly. Because when you're sharpening it on the stone and you get closer to that part, then this is touching. It's messing up with the angle that you're trying to sharpen this knife at. Japanese people, on the other hand, they have understood this problem. And you don't have a bolster here messing up with the angle. It's just a better design. So the next item in this box, I'm really excited for it. I own many variations of that item, but not one like this. Chopping board. Why am I buying chopping boards in Japan? Why not just buy a chopping board here? Well, Japan is known for making cutting board out of rubber. Why is this superior to wooden chopping boards or to plastic chopping boards? I'll tell you why. 
There's a bit of flex in there. So it conforms to the table. Doesn't move because it's made out of rubber. You don't have to use that wet, damp kitchen towel underneath. And obviously, it never damages the edge of the knife because this is rubber. It does nothing to the blade. And I have ordered another one, which is beefier. Oof. The edges on this one are like sharp. It looks like a piece of stone that has been carved. Now this one has a different feel to it. This one is harder. Maybe, maybe it's made for like tougher jobs or like more intense work maybe. Right, so these are all the items that I bought. Two scrubbers, a spatula, a pair of scissors, a knife and a cutting board. These are not your everyday item. No, I did not order a fancy, weird gadget from Japan. I ordered kitchen tools that I know I'm gonna use. Kitchen tools that are made with utmost care. I'm just salivating right now, thinking about the next recipe where this knife is gonna perform and do super precise cut, where these kitchen scissors are gonna make my life easier, where this spatula is gonna shine. A great tool in the kitchen is a non-insignificant way to motivate yourself to cook. Go for it. We'll catch up in the next one. Bye-bye. Salut.